Here we're gonna take a look at wiring up delta and y configurations to incoming and outgoing lines. Okay. So we can think of this as three single phase transformers. One here, H1, H2, X1, X2. High voltage side, low voltage side. Second transformer, third transformer. Three single phase transformers, or it's really the way a pre-wired transformer is wired. If it's a delta Y, it's the way it's wired on the inside. Let's take a look at how the connections are made though. The first winding, I'll go from A to B phase. Second winding, B to C phase. And the third winding from C back to A. Now, why did I do this? Let's look at my little delta symbol over here. If my wires are coming in, my three line wires are coming into a delta, and notice I did not use the neutral here. So generally speaking on a delta, I'm gonna have three wires connected across the three windings. But look a little closer. This wire comes in and connects to the winding on this side and the winding here. So let's call that A. Line A connects to one winding here, but it also connects to another winding. One on this side, one on this. How about B and C? Line B connects to two windings, and line C connects to two windings. And you'll see that. Line B, two windings. Line C, two windings. And if we look at it from the perspective of the winding, each winding, one on this side, connects to B and C. The one on this side connects to A and C. So each winding connects to two different lines. Now in the Y system, let's say we're taking that out on our secondary, we're gonna run those lines out. And remember one of the advantages of the Y? Maybe I can have 120 volts per phase and 208 between the lines, or 277, 480. They're both Y configurations. But for that, I need a neutral. That's this point in the middle, the neutral. And so I draw it in a dashed line. And here, each line going out, let's label them. Each line going out only comes from one winding. B from its own winding, C from its own. So let's draw those in. I've only drawn one side of each winding there because if the winding is on each leg, it goes into its own line. What happens at this point, this side of each winding? Well, they all meet together at the neutral point. And that's where we derive our neutral going out. So one side of each winding goes to the neutral and the other side of each winding goes to its own wire going out, its own line. Now in the code, we generally refer to this neutral as a grounded conductor. And that's because this point here is often taken to ground. But be careful. You're looking and you're saying, aren't the neutral and the ground touching? Is that supposed to happen? Generally speaking, only in two places. In a transformer. We call that a separately derived system in the code. In a separately derived system, the ground and the neutral can meet. And also at the main surface. 
So at the main, and then at your separately derived systems, which generally means most transformers that don't have a connection between primary and secondary. The only way the power is transferred is through induction.